What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is Tuesday, uh, the Tuesday after Labor Day weekend for everybody in the US. I hope you had a nice Labor Day weekend. I hope you took some time off yesterday. Uh, let me just make this a little brighter here. Um, so I'm actually ready to put all of this. If you look back at the previous video, you'll see that these were just little green heads just not too long ago. And look how beautiful this is now. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, literally. Look at those flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can, oh, there we go. Really nice up close shots. This is just some beautiful, um, I believe this is the galactic uh, butter lettuce. It's looking really, really nice. And these guys have definitely rooted really well already, as you can see there. So I just got back from the beach and uh, I'm about to change out these tubs. That's unfortunately the first thing. Oh, you know, when this time comes and I haven't done it for a while, I'm actually, now that I'm looking inside, those are pretty cruddy. I'm actually going to get brand new um, aerators, aerator stones. And this is the aerator stone right here. Look how cruddy it is inside here. That's because I leave these things and I don't clean them in time. I definitely need, it looks like four brand new, air, uh, actually three. Maybe I'll get more because I'm going to be uh, germinating some new seeds for down below here, probably tonight. But I just wanted to show you uh, the prep. You know, these are all ready. These uh, seeds have been germinated. They're inside their little rock wool cubes. They're already nicely rooted. And now it's time basically to go ahead and clean these. But uh, I wanted to show you what it really looks like after I've cleaned out the entire shelf off the previous grow. And unfortunately the previous grow did not go so well for me um, because it totally lacked attention. But in the next few weeks you guys are going to see a thriving multi-tier situation with a beautiful lettuce across here. and. Probably lettuce down below too. I don't think I'm going to jump into anything uh, interesting too crazy right now. But uh, let me get these situated. Let me show you what it really takes to get... I mean, actually, I'm not probably not going to show you. But unfortunately, it's a, uh, it's a lot of work to get the tub situated. You know, from right now, I got to basically take off the tops, empty the water, clean the tanks, um, get new... Um, get new hoses attached so I have a I have a large roll that I basically deattach them because what you you can't reuse them because this is what they start to look like you see that I mean it's just crud and whatever you want to call it I mean sh things get nasty in there but all this stuff is available down below guys make sure also if you're brand new here give me a thumbs up down below you want to make sure you hit in the uh, show more section it's uh, it's an entire uh, detailed list of everything that I currently use everything from the pumps to seating fans lighting uh, shelving everything that you're gonna need tent you're gonna need a tent guys you're gonna need these guys right here these are the aerator stones that I'm using and I'm just gonna actually go out right now and buy uh, three brand new fresh ones and I'm gonna show you how all three of these look right away as soon as I have fresh water in there, they're fully clean, and I have three fresh aerators inside, all right? Oh, and this is what it looks like after I've cleaned everything. We're inside my laundry room right now, and I clean everything right here in this sink with some uh, dishwasher fluid and a little sponge just like this. So, as you can see, the tops and the reservoirs all have been cleaned out to the best of my ability. Now, they're just going to dry a little bit, and uh, let me take you to the uh, grow tent real quick. All right, and right from here, so basically, as you can see here, the whole thing cleared out. I'm going to clean out the bottom a little bit, too. Uh, these guys definitely just need a little bit of water. I've been away for two days, so as you guys know, this is how I do. This is how I do water uh, with the syringe. I water the, uh, the actual rock wool cubes because they dry out. And the whole purpose of the rock wool cube, rock wool cube if you don't know, it's basically it's the growing medium. It's, it replaces the dirt for the plant, so it houses it. It holds it. And so that, so the inside part where the main rooting is, it needs to be moist. But as soon as this basically is uh, at the bottom of these, these are called net cups right here. These have to get washed too. Uh, when it's at the bottom surface and there's water percolating above um, it, from the pump through the air stone, water's bubbling. 
and as it bubbles it, it will kind of catch on to the rock wall a little bit moisten it and the root system will start to grow towards the water it'll attract towards the water and that's how you have developed a beautiful you know beautiful nice strong root system and you'll see that happening um, as soon as I progress through the next few weeks, but uh, let's keep moving on. <laughs> this is literally what it takes, and it's not like you know, it's not as fast as I'm showing you here. But you know, just to uh, clean those three reservoirs properly, it's at least five minutes each, um, and then to fill them is a whole other thing because filling them, I'm literally taking pictures from my kitchen back in here. I think it takes maybe like eight or ten pictures per each reservoir to get it fully ready for a, a, a beautiful start to a nice new grow. Let's keep on moving. All right, and now you have the final product. Whew, man, this really sometimes takes such a long time to get to this. And I have a few left over here. I actually have just a three piece right here. Unfortunately, these three will make it. Those two unfortunately will not I don't have enough container room at this point in time I always make just a few extra and I mentioned this in many of my videos well a lot of the previous videos as, as winter comes along I get much stronger on doing you know my hydroponic videos <laughs> this year I tried the outdoor grow that didn't that didn't do too well but why I do that is because not every single um, seed is going to properly germinate it's not going to properly flower but we are in business, and this is what it looks like, guys. Okay? You have your aeration going through. You got your aerator stone. That's doing its business right there, pumping beautiful percolations right from the pump. There we go. This one's really super strong. Yeah, it's so weird how some of them are not as hard as another and let me just see what's going on here I don't know what this funky stuff is inside there that's interesting hmm okay and this one also so in my next video you're gonna see with just probably about a week or so all the roots start coming down through these um, through these net pods and it just looks awesome I mean it's such a construct that's just incredible force of life through those roots and you kind of just see the development of all these plants it looks freaking awesome it really it really does and I it's it's interesting I love it I really do love it and this is what it looks like right there let's take a closer look as you can see here these are called the these are the net pods this is the rock wool right here okay so the the seed goes inside the rock wool and basically the these hydrotone these little uh, right here these little pebbles they basically hold the rock wool in place that's really all it's used for not for for no other reason are they there they're literally there to strengthen the core of when the plant gets bigger this doesn't move around and just doesn't fall over it just kind of keeps everything in place and that's really it I mean everything looks good I'm really happy about this current setup I'm super stoked about consuming all this lettuce very very exciting uh, again, if you're new here, make sure to give me the thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the bell. This way you get email notifications every single time I post a video. Also, there's a little sprocket down here at the bottom right of your screen. You can actually click that because I do all my videos in 1080p HD. So if, if you click on that little a little sprocket, it's going to probably show you a default of like 40, 480p or something like that, maybe 720. You can jack that up and get nice high quality res on your monitor I usually it's pr primarily on PCs on your phone I think it comes out to the highest quality immediately but if you're watching this on your PC make sure to hit that sprocket go to 1080p also hit that bell for notifications give me the thumbs up subscribe all the links are right down below for everything that I currently have here um, make sure you start growing guys it is there's no time it's never too late to get going on this alright Hope you all have a great day. Happy uh, growing. Talk to you guys soon.